welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to day two of my trip down here in the Florida Keys. We woke up this morning bright and early and we are making the hour drive from Marathon, Florida down to Key West. There's a couple of places we want to check out in Key West and then we're probably going to do some fishing on the way back to Marathon today. So it should be a really fun day. I'm gonna take y'all along with me. Let's get day two started. Our first stop of the morning is at Cuban Coffee Queen here in Key West. So we're gonna go get in line and get us some coffee and breakfast. here to Florida I asked on Instagram for some recommendations of what to do in the Keys and one of the most highly recommended things was to come to the Cuban Coffee Queen here in Key West so that is where we started off our morning today to get some coffee get some breakfast and you know start our day with success so a little fun fact if you didn't know I am actually half Cuban my father is Cuban so I have a little bit of Cuban in me so I had to come to the Cuban coffee place you know you know anyways so look at my iced coffee they have like a seal on top which is really cool they have the cardboard straws and the Cuban coffee queen coffee there is little chickens running around because if you didn't know there are like wild chickens down here in the Keys that just run around everywhere so I got a vanilla iced coffee and what is super cool is the ice cubes they have in here are actually coffee ice cubes so your coffee never gets watered down how cool is that and then for breakfast I got the Key Wester breakfast sandwich which I think is two eggs cheese I got sausage and then they pressed it in some Cuban bread so here is what it looks like let's do a sandwich reveal oh oh wait okay Ooh, this looks delicious let's see what the inside looks like let's see Ooh, yum breakfast is served let's let's give a little taste test oh my gosh mm-hmm I can see why people recommend this place. Super cute, super delicious coffee, and really good food. Yay, okay, we're gonna sit here, dig in, and then see what's to explore next. Look at how pretty the water is out here. We just walked down this pier. The water is just blue, blue, blue. Oh, it's so pretty down here. Look at the line to get a picture at the southernmost point of the continental US. Right there, there it is. I don't know if I wanna get in that line though. Just 90 miles to Cuba from right here southernmost point of the continental US. All right, well, we did it, we saw it. I'm not waiting in that line. Basically, for the past like three hours, Cody and I have just been stopping on the side of the road and fishing on some random bridges. As you can see, we are up in the air on a bridge right now. We've caught a couple of fish here and there, but it is 85 and sunny out, and it is a little bit warm out here. But hopefully I'm getting my tan on while I'm out here. I need a little bit of sun on my skin and we're having us a good time. But it is three o'clock. We had breakfast at like 9 a.m. We haven't eaten anything, only had some water. So that's the status update. <laughs> when all else fails, catch us a mangrove. Awesome, throw it back. Well, it is four o'clock, so I don't know if this is considered a late lunch or a early dinner, but we just got to the No Name Pub, 
next to No Name P, and we're gonna grab us some food. We went to that no-name pub and had kind of like an early dinner and I have to say I was not that impressed. I think it is very much kind of like a tourist attraction. Like everyone tells you to go there but it really wasn't that great by any means um, and I hate to say that but I had a chicken sandwich, a crispy chicken sandwich that I paid $17 for. $17 and it was like an okay chicken sandwich. But for $17 for a piece of chicken, not impressed. But it was still good. It filled me up. Probably going to be our last meal of the day. We're going to try and go hit one more spot before the sun sets. As you can see, it is setting behind us. It's 5.47 p.m. But either way, it's still a beautiful day. We have seen some awesome sights today. And maybe we can get one more fish before the sun sets. Here in the Keys, there are these endangered Keys deer that are smaller than normal deer. And they just kind of free roam around. And oh my gosh, there's chickens and deer. So we're gonna see if we can get a little bit closer. There's some of them that'll come eat out of your hand. So we're gonna go walk over here. All right, Mr. Chicken. Hi, deer. Oh my gosh, look at them. Oh my, they're so tiny. Oh, look at them. Oh my gosh, hi. Hi, can I touch you? Hi. Oh my gosh, look. Oh my golly, he's like, do you not have food? Oh my gosh, this is the coolest thing ever, y'all. Look at the Key West deer. Oh my gosh y'all this is the best day of my life look at them and look at all the chickens over there and the deer three feet from me okay don't fight guys be nice look at it oh my golly look at them okay well, now I officially got to see the Keys deer, and these two want to go at it, so I think that's time for me to leave. And they're fighting here in the back of a Key West grocery store. And look at this guy! You're so cute! You're so handsome! Tell me why you crossed the road! What a good way to end the day. Ooh, that rhymed. Beautiful water, beautiful sunset. Doesn't get much better than this. Ooh, I think I got a little bit too much sun today. Ooh, no. Oh, that's real bad. Oh, raccoon. Tan line is back. No bueno. No bueno at all. Well, as I was editing this video, I realized that I flat out forgot to film an outro for this video. So I hope that you guys enjoyed day two of my Florida Keys trip. If you did, be sure to leave it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye guys. Mwah.